Hello folks, thanks for tuning in. In a couple of my past videos, I mentioned that the tearing down of these um, Confederate statues and monuments is not all they're after. The powers that be have this political agenda that they're trying to play out. They're globalists, one world orderist. I mentioned in those videos that this eventually will lead to additional things being torn out of our lives, out of our history. And I want to read you a news article that is dated today. By the way, their agenda is just to dumb us all down, let us forget our history so we're deemed to repeat it, turn us all into stupid slaves. Title, Gone with the Wind. You ever hear that movie, Gone with the Wind? Very, very good classic. I've watched it with my wife. Ten times. It happens to be her favorite movie, so when she wants to watch it, I appease her and I watch it with her. First two or three times is cool. Fourth time, I'm a little... But anyway, it's a great movie. Nothing wrong with it. Gone with the Wind screenings pulled from Memphis theater for racially insensitive content. By Sasha Savitsky. If this theater company thought their patrons wouldn't give a damn, they were wrong. A historic Memphis, Tennessee theater, which has shown Gone with the Wind screens for 34 years. 34 years now. Because the news media outlets and television programming have programmed them to believe that this is a racial film, a racially insensitive film. Gone with the Wind screenings, showing them for 34 years, had decided to remove the classic film from its schedule due to its racially insensitive content. Let me scroll down here. I get so angry with this. The move comes after violence erupted at a rally in Charlottesville that we all know about. Earlier this month, the president of the Orpheum Theater said the decision to remove the 1939 film was not directly related to the recent headlines, though. No, no. The Orph Orphelium appreciates feedback on its programming from all members of the Mid-South community. Orphe Orpheum, I think it's Orpheum, President Brent Batterson said in a statement to Vulture, I guess Vulture's a newspaper or something, as an organization whose stated mission is to entertain, educate, and enlighten the communities it serves, the Orpheum cannot show a film that is insensitive to a large segment of its local population. So let me stop there just for a moment. He's claiming that it's, in, it's insensitive to a large segment of his local population. But in the 34 years, I ask him, has anybody complained about it? Probably not. And then he goes on to say, well, he wants to entertain, educate, and enlighten. How can you educate and enlighten anybody when you're removing history? Removing our past, whether it's good or bad. His statement continued. There, this is something that's been questioned every year. But the social media storm this year really brought it home. Like I said, he's claiming he's questioned it every year, or they've questioned it every year for since 1939. But... The social media, what, what he's told to think. Social media is also television programming, by the way. It's not just Twitter. And I like to see the Twitter remark. I haven't seen any Twitter remarks that said, Gone with the Wind is racially insensitive. 
No, what he's afraid of, he's, he's afraid of being ridiculed when he's never been ridiculed in the past. Or he's a, just a big freaking Trump he, hater. Let me repeat that. There is something, this is something that's been questioned every year. But the social media storm this year has really brought it home. Batterson also noted the popularity of the film was leveled off in recent years. Okay, so it came out in 1939. And I can understand it maybe being leveled off after 50 years. You know, I can understand that. But he's claiming it's only leveled off. The viewing is only leveled off in the last few years. In recent years, this is exact verbiage. I find him to be a freaking liar. Or looking for a way out, an excuse. Moviegoers took to Orpheum's Facebook page to blast the theater's decision. So, so he's claiming that he, he's afraid of being insensitive to his local clientele. Yet his local clientele is getting on his Facebook page and blasting him. It, it, he's really not even paying attention to to what's going on. All he's doing is listening to the television and Twitter and living by those rules, those paradigms. This is the stupidest thing I've heard lately and believe me there have been some really stupid things done lately in the name of racism. How, how ignorant are you people? Never will I go to this theater or any other one that promotes this BS, one person wrote. Another wrote, so now we're censoring art. Come on, it's just a movie. If you don't like it, don't watch it. And that's a true statement. Go to the next theater. Gone with the Wind won eight Academy Awards, including Best Picture. Haiti McDaniel, who played Mammy, the first African-American actress to win a Academy Award. And I said in my last, and I think it was my last I think the video just before this one, when I was driving home from the White Mountains, I mentioned, there, it's a video called um, Tearing Down Statues Can Lead to Tearing Down, Tearing Up the Constitution, with a question mark. But in that video, I, I stipulated how it progresses. It progresses. You know, they deem this statue of of Thomas Jefferson or whomever as a racist and then the activists, the professionally paid activists tell the people via the television news outlets what to think, like zombies. Oh, if, if Thomas Jefferson was a racist, well, you know, the Constitution and the Bill of Rights, they were written by a bunch of racists. Maybe we need to ban those too. But on the way to it, they eliminate art, they eliminate the culture, they eliminate books, and pretty soon you don't have a constitution, you don't have a bill of rights. All in the name is because it was created by a bunch of racists. And if we got rid of the statues, surely we should get rid of the constitution because, you know, we can't have us following rules that are or living by rights that were created by a bunch of racists. That's where this is going. And that is the ultimate goal. It's not the people who are doing this. The people are just listening to the news and following orders via television programming on what to think because they can't think for themselves. There is a hierarchy to this world. Whether you want to believe it or not, whether you want to call it the New World Order or whatever, they run this world. Okay? They are trying to remove all rights of this country the constitution of this country. They're trying to create a one world order with one law. And how can you have one law when you have the constitution and the Bill of Rights standing in the way? Folks, you have a great day. I hope to uh, hear from you in, your co in the comments section. And please, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And subscribe. I always like new subscribers. Take care, folks.